Beats, what's good fam? This is DJ Olo coming live from the crates one more time. Welcome to the Beat Conductors where DJs and producers mix it down, you know what I'm saying? This is episode number nine. Uh, we're just keeping it moving, man. You know, first up, we got my man Heck Dolo from Maryland. Rocks on the machine a little bit. He's got an MPC, he's got the SP12, you know what I'm saying? Got some vinyl. He got a lot of vinyl, you know what I mean? Um, samples it up a little, a little bit, you know what I mean? Chops it up. And it gets right into it, man. So let's get right into my man Heck Dolo. Let him show you what he does. This is my man Heck Dolo from Maryland. What's up, everybody? Um, it's Heck Dolo. You in tune with the beat conductors. I'm about to go through my process of how I make a beat. Um, samples, chopping it up, um, adding everything to it, whether it be um, instruments, bass lines, and all of that. So um, I'm working logic. So here we go. Start off, I um, got a record that I, that I sampled here, the group is Curve Air, the record is Phantasmagoria. Um, just grabbed a quick little uh, portion off the beginning of it and just chopped it up, um, added some instruments, bass line, organ to it. So I'm going to break it down for y'all real quick um, so y'all can hear. that quick little intro is what I grab. Um, and if anybody's wondering, I work in Logic a lot. Um, I have a machine here, I use it from time to time, but my main uh, source of production is Logic. Alright, so as you can see, the pieces that I grab. You got the string part. hi-hat pieces here I usually sometimes I'll actually um, you know uh, play the hi-hats at other times I like to grab samples that work this right here is basically uh, a little hi-hat groove it gives it a better feel when you program the drums it's got a better bounce to it versus you trying to chop up the hi-hat and got t -t -t playing it like that um, it makes the, the break once you uh, start programming the drums sound a little bit more seamless. Then I got over here. Um, and then up here I got the snares. So as you can see everything's chopped in pieces. Um, I've been messing with this um, bass program called Trillion which I like a lot because the bass sounds sound they're very realistic as you'll be able to hear so like that a lot um, it's just a nice nice fat and warm sound that you get then I added some organs to this as well That's uh, stock sound and Logic. Uh, Logic Pro has a lot of good stock sounds. Um, for those who don't know, for those who use it, you already know. So, um, so I basically started off with a simple chop on the pianos. A little bit of delays on the back. Uh, Delays are good when you're doing uh, chops because it kind of adds a little bit extra to it. It doesn't make it sound so dead. When, you know what I'm saying, when a sample hit, hits. String parts. And then I got... The high parts. kicks I layered them get a lot more one of them is actually filtered down so you catch more of the bass and what I usually do from there is I'll take like a reverb 
and add a little reverb to the filter kick so it gives you a lot uh, more ambiance so it, it hits a little harder and it adds a little bit more thump to it so so that's how you do it it's the bass line I added to it of the beat um, that you, you hear right there some change-ups with the playing bass line organs and all of that so but now you get to hear the final product <laughs> something I did um, a few weeks ago um, you know just kind of chopped the sample up got guitars um, grabbed a few of the vocals um, around the, the sample that were later on in the song and um, you know added a little piano to it and of course played the bass line out um, and put some percussions in it so it's um, you know decent product um, still might have a little bit extra things to add to it I'm not sure yet I'm still vibing with the beat take the time to make sure that the drums that they're using with that sample actually match and work with that. Um, so I'm a stickler for texture. Like I'll go through, if I have to, 70 drums until I find the perfect drum that matches with it. 
and I'll just keep going through drums, going through drums, and I'm like, that's the one, and I'll start from there. So I don't try to just throw random stuff together on the fly because oh, I think this will work. Like I try to make sure everything sounds on point, everything matches. Um, so I'm very particular about drums. All right, everybody. Now that you've seen me, you know, do something from beginning to scratch, gotta be done. Show you my process of working. Um, play the finalized beat for you so you can hear basically a little bit of what I do, my style, and all of that. If anybody's interested, they're looking for beats, you can hit me up at hectolo at gmail.com. That's H E C D O L O at gmail. Or you can hit me up on Twitter. It's at hectolo. It's H E K D O L O. Um, not a C with a K. Somebody snatched my name up before I got it. So, um, but y'all can reach out to me there. I can send stuff out to you. Um, let me know what you're looking for. I cater. Can make beats from scratch if you tell me what you know what you need, what the mood is, direction you got of the song. So, anybody look for anything? Holler. Yeah, I can rock with that. You know what I'm saying? That's your man Heck Dolo. You know what I mean? From Maryland. You gotta check that dude out, yo. His sound is is crisp. You know what I'm saying? I know you heard that, man. He knows how to sample it. You know what I mean? He showed you how he throws it into the, the software. You know what I'm saying? Mixing the analog with the digital. That's what it's all about in 2012. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, that's what's up, man. Heck Dolo, man. He did his thing, man. Check that dude out. Check him out online, you know what I'm saying? Check him out in his shows. Check him out in DC. You know what I mean? But let's just keep it moving, man. Uh, we're going to take it back over the bridge, out to VA, out towards Herndon. This is my man PG. You know what I'm saying? He's an instrumentalist. He plays drums. He plays keyboard. Um, he gets down with the FL Studio, does a little bit of software and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But he's going to show you what he does right now. It's my man PG from Herndon. Check him out. I go by the name of PG. Welcome to the Beat Conductors. I live out here in Herndon. I got the studio set up. You know, I make beats using basically Pro Tools, FL Studio, sometimes Reason. But uh, when I really need some inspiration, I'll just go back to the live keyboards. I play drums. Been playing drums for like 10 years. Grew up in the church. You know, if you're sitting in the pew, sometimes you just got to do what you do. So they'll throw you on the organ, throw you on the keys, throw you on the drums, just make you play something. Uh, basically, I've been in a number of bands, played drums, played keys, tried to play bass, but that's not really my thing, I guess. Uh, so basically, you're going to see me make a beat from scratch. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so I got this sample from uh, Adele, Adele's new song, uh, Set Fire to the Rain. So I was just kind of messing around with it. And that's where I really started. This here. So I had that. And I was like, nah, that's not smooth enough. So then I found another piece. This part here. And that that's when it really set the whole beat off right there, you know. So I took those two parts. And I just threw these drums on there. And the drums were... <laughs> typical, you know, I like to add a lot of different uh, percussion. So, let me just run through this part. Oh. All right. So I had to kick. Add the clap. So then I had a snare in there. And I'm going down south field. Put the hats in there. I threw a little tambourine in there. Taking the church. This part here, I was just acting a fool. So that's a typical, you know, down south beat to me. You know, there's a lot of people say that ain't down south, but that's my style of down south. So basically, I threw that with the sample and it turned into this.
right, so I put the drums with the sample and it sounded something like this. Right, so that's what you got. So I had the bass line on it. You know, I try to, try to take it to, you know, the islands with a little reggae beat going on, so. Alright, so then I threw this guitar line on there because I felt like it needed a little edge to it. So I threw this on there. After that, that was the whole beat. So I just had to hype it up for the hook, you know. So I just added more hi hats, some cymbals, and put this little lead in there. This little lead. Put that in there. People said it sounded bubble gumish, but I, you know, I don't care what they think. For real, still rock. So, saw me make a beat from scratch, I want y'all to listen to one of my finished products, so check it out. touch with me you can go to punchinproductions.com uh, if you want to you know direct email me it's punchinproductions at gmail.com uh, at the website you can check out some of my tracks go to my twitter from there go to my facebook from there uh, basically find all the links from there so i'm looking to work with anybody from rappers poets singers you know groups gospel r&b even a little bit of pop and dance music, you know, I, I do it all. So basically calling it all artists, all musicians, you know, holla at me. Uh, shout out to the beat conductors, and uh, see you guys later. Yeah, that's what's up, man. You just heard my man PG. He was rocking, man, you know what I'm saying? True instrumentalist right there. That's a true beat conductor right there, you know what I'm saying? He plays drums, he plays keyboard, you know what I mean? He 
gets down and, and he makes some full beats. You saw he broke down that beat for you, you know what I'm saying? Had all the little sounds, put them all the little joints in. I like that, man. That's what's up, man. So that's my man PG representing Nova, Herndon, you know what I mean? You saw Heck Dolo up first representing Mo County, Maryland, you know what I'm saying? Check both them dudes out, man. Both of them dudes are fire right now, you know what I'm saying? They're both doing their thing. This is another episode. This is number nine. You know what I mean? You're up to number nine right now. Watch out for number 10 and 11. Watch out for the shows. Watch out for the next battle. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about all these MD cats. You know, there's a battle coming up. There's always going to be a battle coming up. You know what I'm saying? So um, we appreciate you having us in your homes tonight. You know what I mean? Get at us so we can get at you. Beat Conductors. BeatConductors.com. At Beat Conductors on Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? This is your man DJ Olo. I just want to say peace and thank you for watching another episode of the Beat Conductors. Peace.